Bygarth the Smith. What would you have of this season's finest slayer? Oh, you're mighty confident for one so young. <laughs> Reminds me of me after I won the Great Hunt. Oh, but that was a long time ago. I chose smithing over hunting, and I never regretted it. Now it's time to forge my masterpiece. A mighty weapon to break Jormag's tooth. Nothing has so much as scratched the tooth in over a hundred years. What makes you think you could craft such a thing? Deldrum or steel. If I can get my hands on enough of it, I can make a weapon to shatter mountains. The secret of the alloy was lost with the dwarves, but I can smelt existing relics into the steel I need. Such artifacts have surfaced in a Jotun cave near Grollenfjord. Yeah, that's why I sent for you. If you can beat back the Jotun and collect the artifacts I need to forge the weapon, you might be worthy of bearing it. Interested? Interested? Ha! Huh. I'm determined! Ready your forge for dwarven metal, Smithy. Before I tear your arms off and beat you to death. I need help. These ugly lumps mean to kill me. We will make another offer. The hunter who wanted too close. He is strong. His sacrifice will gain us power. We could butcher an entire homestead without this dragon. This ceremony is a waste. That faithless attitude is the reason for our decline. Don't be so eager to embrace ignorance. We live no better than animals. Ignorance is relying on others to save us. That would be a downfall. Such might! Break my... the strength to reclaim our birthright. Jormag, give us strength. Accept this offering of blood and bone. Make our enemies yours, and we will make your enemies our own. Jormag, give us strength. In your name, we will destroy them all. We will rule this land once more. Jormag, Give us strength. Jormag, give us strength. Such might!
I brought your dwarven steel, blacksmith. I also saw the bodies of the other hunters you sent. Those Jotun are worshipping the Ice Dragon. Bear's breath. I didn't know that. I'll take the steel off your hands, but I can't do anything about the Jotun. Though I do know someone who can. Do you know Erstegulkin? Tall, beautiful, travels with a huge black wolf. She killed one of the Ice Dragon's strongest lieutenants. Of course, she fought beside me against Isormir, and I've heard songs of her epic deeds at several moots. She could help us. And not to be a gossip or anything, I hear she's taken quite an interest in you since the Great Hunt. In me? Why? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Perhaps you impressed her. In any case, Ask her about these Jotun, and I'm sure she'll lend a hand. Still, Garm. You know I can't carve your image properly when you're wiggling. Ugh, this stone isn't right. It'll never... What's that, Garm? Someone's coming? Very well, we'll leave this alone for now. Perhaps the next stone will be better. It's good to see you again, Slayer. You look troubled. What's wrong? I've been to the Jotun Caves near Grollenfjord. They're worshipping the Elder Dragon Jormag. Jotun are fanatical about their old ways. They wouldn't worship Jormag. Unless... What do you know about the Sons of Svanir? I know they're the idiots who embrace the Ice Dragon as a spirit of the wild. From what you saw, so do these Jotun. There has to be a connection. There are Sons of Svanir near Hirbat's camp. They might be involved. This is definitely worth a Slayer's attention. If you're willing, Garm and I will meet you there. Let's see if we can persuade the Sons to tell us what's going on. That sounds perfect. Erstegalkin, side by side with the Slayer of Isormir. The Skalds will sing of this for generations. Careful. Skalds also sing of noble hunters dying grisly deaths. But with Wolf's help, we'll give them something better. See you there. <laughs> 